Hello, everybody. Thanks for going another mile with me, Joel Heitkamp, and Amy Eiler. There you go from News and Views. This is a big week for us. Uh, tomorrow, for example, and tomorrow meaning Tuesday, you'll probably see this video all week, but tomorrow we're going to be live from the Fargo Dome where each and every year we're at the Northern Plains Ag Expo where I get to meet Amy's childhood hero and friend, Kent Herbeck. Right, Amy? Not really, but... Do you even remember where he played for the Twins? No. How young were you when the Twins won the World Championship in 1987? Yeah. How old? Maybe not in grade school yet. Uh, yeah, maybe not. Okay, anyway, Ken Herbeck's going to be there, which means I'm going to be there, which means we're going to have a lot of fun there. Gonna get a I chance. tried to get him on the show, by the way, and tell him I didn't appreciate him not calling me back. Should I tell him that? Yeah. He's way bigger than me. What if he kicks my butt? How's <laughs> that going to go? Then? Yeah, me. exactly. I mean, he's one of the few people in the world out there that probably outweigh me. Uh, no cheap shot at Kent. He's just a big boy. He played first, Amy. His number was number 14, and he hit a great big home run when all the announcers were saying that he couldn't hit off that pitcher. Just wanted to point that out to you. Okay? Okay. Okay. So then, after tomorrow, on Wednesday, where are we going to be again? Land Expo. Exactly. At the Romana Plaza Suites, we're going to be at the Great Plains Land Expo part of Kevin Pfeiffer's group, and we're going to have a great time with that. So two shows in one week on the road, and I think it's only fair to point out that it's well known in the radio world, when you do these remote shows, it's much, much harder in the on-air talent than it is on the individual such as Amy. Yeah, I would agree with that. I'm the one that pretty much has to do all the work. Well, not all the work. But most of the work. Some of the work. Most of the work. You have to actually do some work. And then what day do I have my knee taken out where you're going to be hosting <laughs> News and Views? I'm not going to be, but next Thursday. Thursday, the 8th, I get my knee. And what are you going to do? Are you going to miss me at all while I'm gone? Yeah, we're going to miss you. I have a feeling. <laughs> you know, that sounds a lot like a, a person who didn't like their uncle, but he died and he had a lot of money. No, but we're going to miss, gonna miss you. you. Yeah, but exactly. we're, I think And by the way, gonna... where's the will? We, we don't think you're going to be gone as long as... We think you're going to be gone. We think you're going to be gone for like two weeks. You think you're going to be gone for two days. We'll see. No, I know I'm going to be gone for three days. I'll be in the hospital for three days. But watch this. I will be back on air much quicker than what you think. Okay, name the day. I think that I will be on by the end of the week after. If I get my knee cut out on Thursday, by Thursday of that next week, I will be back on doing news and views. Okay. Do you believe that? I will believe that you will be doing it from your house a week after, but I don't believe you'll come back in studio. But if I'm doing it, I'm doing it, right? Uh, well, I'm just giving you the location. All I'm saying is, don't count me out. You put your knee up, you take some pills, you start sound. Oh, wait, we shouldn't talk about that on air. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, so busy couple weeks planned, and before all that, we're going to be heading out to Bismarck for a couple of shows. So... Uh, all of that and more coming up on News and Views. Anything you want to add before we say goodbye? No. Thanks for going another mile with us and uh, been good riding.